So we are going to go antiquing today. We have this little guy with us and we're going to see what we can find. Papa, papa, papa. <laughs> if we can find some, papa, some treasures. Papa. So let's go. A quick reminder, if you aren't following me yet on Instagram, head on over and follow me at Valerie Aguirre, where I share a lot of behind the scenes and fun stuff on there as well. So let's get shopping. So this antique store has a bunch of different vendors who all kind of rent a space inside that antique store and they all carry different things. So it's kind of fun to see like each vendor's style and they each carry, you know, their own types of things that they like and that they collect. So um, you'll find yourself noticing like, oh, I really like this vendor's style. So the thing with antique stores is because they are antique, vintage pieces, a lot of times very one of a kind nowadays. So the prices are a little bit higher. They're not uh, thrift store prices, but you can still get pretty good deals on some really neat pieces for your home. Something that I am seeing a ton of in antique stores right now are Crocs. I think people are really jumping on the Crocs for kitchen accessories and vintage items. Um, I'm also seeing like people put trees in them. They're just a really neat piece to have. This wooden thing right there was actually a butter churn, churner type thing. That was another one in like a croc style. And then this was another croc. It had a number six on it and they are pricey, but they hold up really well. I think they're like a stone type material, very, very heavy. This little brown bucket was so cute. It's actually copper. Um, but I loved that green patina down at the bottom. It just really shows its age and I think it's so pretty. I could totally see this outside with a plant, maybe on a front porch. Really, really neat piece. The whiskey jugs or whiskey bottles are always really neat. They, those things are so heavy. It's crazy. And then these pieces right here, we couldn't figure out like a time or an era, but I don't know. These were just insane. Look at these old, like this old helmet and this old <laughs> shield. At first we didn't know what it was. And then we figured out it was like a shield, but it is so old. This little wicker mirror is so cute. I loved the color. It was a really warm brown. And of course you guys, I'm sure you know, wicker is definitely made its way back. It is so cute. It's everywhere right now. These baskets, my sister actually picked them up. She's well-worn interiors on Instagram. She got these and put them in her laundry room and they are so neat and that is like a genuine leather. So I think they used these for like fruit or some type of agriculture. Really, really neat baskets. I love the weaving, that linen liner in there is just so organic, so neat. And this is a complete vintage piece. This, these are perfect for like a laundry room. This little piece was also really cute. It was a really unique shaped basket and I liked that it had the lid and it was really rounded. I actually picked this one up and took this guy home with me. I haven't found the perfect place for it yet, but we are working on it. So it'll, it'll find its home soon. So in some of these antique stores, they also have some newer pieces that are also mixed in. So these vases, they had two up top and then they had one on the other side. And I believe these are dipped in some type of metallic. I think this one was like a silver and then they had this really neat blue one right next to it. And then the one across the way said copper and they were really, really neat in person. The colors were just really, really neat. Okay, so I saw this 
chicken cage, I guess you'd call it, chicken coop or chicken cage. And these are super vintage. They used to put chickens in these. And these are not easy to find, but the wood is so pretty. Like you can just see the age on this wood. And I love the coloring on it. It is just really, really unique. So when I look at this, you guys, I see like a coffee table or even a piece kind of like sitting up against a wall. I love those. So of course we had to make our way to the hat section where I fell in love with this black cowboy hat. The tan one was also really cute, but I think the black one has my heart. So from this store, I ended up going home with that little basket with the lid and a coin for my oldest son. He loves collecting coins. So I get him something special from time to time when I'm out and about in places like this. So moving on to the next antique store. This was the first little vendor section in this antique store. And right away, this bowl super unique. This bowl was actually really, really large and they're really hard to find um, this aged and in this size nowadays. Um, they're not cheap, but they will really make a statement in a space. This antique store definitely has no shortage of stuff to look at. They have over 90 vendors in this store and there is so much. You can be in here for hours. It's so big. Here we are with a ton of cast iron skillets and pans, a ton of crocs. This was by far the biggest croc I have ever seen. Um, and then they had all of these really neat letters that I am still brainstorming kind of a DIY or something that I can do with these. I think these are so fun. So I'm really hoping that I can figure something out and I can go back and get some. They had, I think maybe three of these metal baskets um, all around the store. They had two red ones that I saw and I think I saw a silver one. They also had these two wooden cutting boards and all this area was from the same vendor and this vendor must have had like the best eye because this was my favorite vendor by far. They had so much cute stuff in this little corner. Um, this was a French laundry basket and it had little casters on the bottom and it is in such good condition. A little pricey, but it was 20% off. I'm still dreaming about that basket. This was a little bean pot. I find these pretty often and they're always really, really cute. If I had a really neat shelf or something in my kitchen, I would totally get that, but I don't have any type of shelving yet in our home. So it's kind of hard for me to get a lot of those types of accessories. This little mid-century bench was really cute. I thought it was a great deal for $129. I thought that that was kind of a steal. It's not really my style, but very cute nonetheless. I always love looking at like the rolling pins and the wooden spoons. They just have so much more character when they're kind of aged and unique shapes. I really liked that this one had those little kind of pokey things off the sides. They were just really unique. This copper bowl was also the cutest little thing and those are salt and pepper shakers. So stinking adorable, you guys. I want to like redo my whole kitchen <laughs> so that I can have like little copper accessories and things like that, but uh, I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> if you guys remember, I found a pot just like this at a thrift store. I think it was like under $5. It was just like that. This was a really cute breadboard. This one was only $25 and I loved the thickness of it. Oh, I can just see the most perfect 
like loaf of bread right out of the oven sitting on top of that. I feel like little accessories like this can really bring so much character to a kitchen. This vendor also had a really neat eye. I liked a lot of stuff in this little corner as well. There was a lot of really cute things. This glass jug was huge and these are really hard to find in this size in pretty much good condition. It did have a little hole right in the back there. And I forgot what those are. I think they are pie stampers. Let me know in the comments below if you know what those are. It was some type of like embosser or stamp for, I don't know what, it, I don't remember, but that was a clipboard, the cutest clipboard. I could see that in like a little office with the perfect little vintage accessory. I loved that. This little wire basket, I am such a sucker for baskets, but this would be the cutest thing in like a mud room or an entry for shoes or little boots. I just thought this was like the sweetest thing. Okay, I have never seen one of these in person. It is, I think you call it like a pie cabinet. So they would put pies in there to keep like flies and things like that off of them. But this one was in really good condition in my opinion, but how stinking adorable is that? I just love that. So this lamp caught my eye. It was totally giving me like Studio McGee vibes. I know it's super vintage, but I didn't like that it had the table attached to it. I would have picked that up had it been the lamp only. One thing that I always stop and look at is vintage textiles, napkins, fabrics, those types of things, rug fragments. Those are always the neatest pieces to frame and use as art. So I always try and keep my eye out for those. This was tucked away in a little corner, another one of those red baskets and this huge dough bowl. These are also not easy to come by. This one was 185, gorgeous. This was so dreamy. There's so many things you could do with this, but this is one of those pieces that you could put in an entryway, on a shelf, on a kitchen island. There's so many possibilities with these. These little whiskey wicker or rattan bottles are the cutest thing for shelf styling. We are seeing these a lot right now and they look so adorable on a shelf and they're not too expensive either. They're pretty reasonable in price. This is a vintage French hat rack. I love those pegs. I thought they have so much character, so unique. It's actually like a bamboo base right there, but very, very cute. I love when baskets have a lid. I feel like it makes it functional <laughs> because you can hide stuff in there. I love a good basket with a lid. This one was really, really neat. I liked the weaving of this one. This vendor also had a lot of really unique pieces. He had a lot of neat wood. This wooden box right on top was a poker chip little set or carrier. It kind of reminded me of playing poker with my family, mainly my uncle. Um, during the summers when I was a lot younger, we would sit out on the back patio and play poker way into the early morning. Lots and lots of fun. And this was the prettiest little jewelry box. I think it was a jewelry box. I would have used it for a jewelry box, but I loved that coloring of that wood. And then this was a splint basket. I was in love with the weaving of this. Would look so gorgeous by a fireplace with some smaller logs in there. Very, very pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this shop with me trip. If you did, comment down below and let me know what was one of your favorite items that you saw today. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.